Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will tackle a question that I have received quite a few times over the last couple of years, and that is about animation retargeting in Unity. We will use an animation that we downloaded from Mixamo, and we will apply it to two different characters in Unity. We will choose a character creator 3 character and a morph 3D character, and we will use the same animation on both characters. Let's get started. Over in Mixamo, we will choose just any random animation, could be anything really here. Let's go for boxing. Click on download, format, FBX for Unity. We don't need a skin, no keyframe reduction, 60 frames per second, download. I'm gonna copy the animation into my Unity project. And here in Unity, it will just export as an FBX. Here it is. We can see there is a rig, an animation, an avatar, and the FBX file. Now let's first find out which characters we want to use. Let's use this character creator 3 character here that I used in a previous project. It is fully rigged. And then we will use a more 3D character. Alright, so the first thing to note is that just when we look at these different characters, they have a different rig, and that's really important. So they have a different hierarchy here with slight details of where the different bones are and how these different bones are named. The important part for animation retargeting is that all of our different FBX objects, so the characters and the animation are set to humanoid. So let's check this out. Uh, I right click on my character here and I just go to select prefab. I click on it and you can see the rig here is set to a generic. Let me just change this to humanoid Click Apply, and we click on Configure, and here we can see the character is in a T-pose already, so that's good. We want to really achieve a good T-pose here, and you can see that everything maps as green. If for some reason the character has the legs spread apart or is in a different pose, then you can make adjustments here by just clicking on the bone and then using your Transform tool to make adjustments. But as it is, we can just click on Done, and everything is fine. Next, we go to our character creator 3 character. Again, we go and select prefab. And here the rig is again set to generic. We will set this to humanoid. Click apply. Click on configure. And as well, this character here is in a really good T-pose. Everything seems to be fine. Everything is green. And really what this does is we're mapping all of these different bones of the rig of the character to the different body parts, so the, to the different bones that our avatar will have. And we click on Done. What this does is basically it normalizes or standardizes our rig so that even if we have different rigs with different characters, Unity knows exactly how to map the character and how to apply an animation. All right, next we have to go to our animation. I will just drag and drop this animation in here just to show you something. And that is that this rig again here is completely different to the other two and has completely different naming conventions. What we need to do now is to also change this animation type from generic to humanoid. But I will just uh, show you one thing really quickly, and that is what happens if I actually don't do this? What if I use this animation now as it is? First, in order to animate our two characters, you can see here we have an animator already attached to them, but we need an animator controller. I'll go to create. Create an animator controller. And we just call it test controller. And we drag and drop it in here. Now we can go to our animator and we just create a new state here. So this is an empty animator controller and we just created the new state. We just need to look for the name of this animation in here. So this is the FBX file, but the name of the animation is just boxing. So what we'll do in this animation state, we will just search for boxing. And the problem here is that we have two boxing animations. One actually is from a different asset. So we will just use the one that is under uh, the uh, new FBX. You can see the, the path down here. So we will select this. So now theoretically, both of these characters should have a boxing animation because they're using the same animation controller. 
Unfortunately, you can see here the problem is that since our characters are set to humanoid, but the animation is still set to generic, we have a problem here. And that is the rig is not being recognized because it is basically using exactly the hierarchy and the naming of the old rig, of the generic rig that we imported with our FBX file. And as you can see, nothing happens. In fact, we actually just ruined this character. Um, it is kind of stuck in this pose now. We would have to reset a bunch of stuff. But what we will do is even undoing doesn't do anything. What we'll do, though, is we will just use her sister over here, a slightly different character, uh, which is based on some testing I did for Character Creator 3. So instead of worrying about her, we will just apply this animated controller to the other character. And instead of now pre previewing this, scrubbing this on this timeline, we go back to our animation. So I go to my project view. I go to my FBX file from Mixamo. And I set my rig from generic to humanoid. Click apply. Click on configure. And again, here you can see everything is green. You see that there's a, actually a little bit of a deviation. This is not a perfect T-pose. The legs are a little bit spread apart. I could try to fix this now as closely as I can without really breaking the the recognition of the T-bows, but I'll just leave it as it is right now to keep the video short. And now we just go back to our animator and you can see we still have the same animation applied. We don't even need to switch anything out because this animation now was switched from generic to humanoid. So let's click on our character again, animation, and you can see now everything is as it should be. So there's nothing yellow anymore. And instead of using the hierarchy and the naming of the generic animation that we had there, it is now all using the uh, naming conventions of the avatar of our, in this case, more 3D character. And you can see our character's punching. Now, he looks a little bit awkward with his legs, and that is because really that's the difference between the avatar of our animation that we could tweak just a little bit more and the pretty perfect T-pose of our more 3D character. And we go to our character here. Now the problem why this is still yellow is because this is actually a different character. If we go back to the prefab here in our project, we only changed this character to humanoid, but we didn't change this one. So again, if any of the uh, different parts that we need for this, so the character FBX or the animation FBX are not set to humanoid, we get this problem. Go to configure, everything looks fine. Click done. And now we can see that if we go to animation, this character now uses its own avatar definition. So all the different uh, bones of its rig instead of using the naming conventions and the, the bones of the other avatar. And she punches, perfect. Now, one thing to note is that this animation now is read only. So we can try to make any changes here, but nothing will, ha will happen. I'm just pressing delete right now and we cannot change it at all. We can go back to, into our project, go to our animation. And here we have our boxing animation. What I can do now is just duplicate this animation. So I'm just holding control D and we're duplicating our animation. Now this animation here is not part of the FBX file anymore. It is its own animation that we can work with. Now remember you have to set it you have to set the animation type to humanoid first. If you try to copy out this animation while this is still generic, your animation will end up being a generic animation, but we want this animation to be a humanoid anim animation. So now that we change the animation type first to humanoid and now copy it out, du duplicate it, this boxing two animation is what we can use now. So let's go back into our animator, into the state here. Instead of boxing, let's use boxing two that we just created. Go back to our character animation, and you can see Boxing 2 now does not have the read-only behind it anymore. So we can make changes now, we can you know, move things around, we can compress it, whatever you like. And the same goes for the other character. If you have any questions about any of this process, please let me know in the comments below. I hope this was a, a brief and useful video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.